Floyd Mayweather is going to live his life like he want to live it. Okay. Floyd Mayweather is known for his flashy lifestyle. Although he may be retired these days, he still works and spends hard. After all, this is the same man who's shown off an $18 million watch on his Instagram. He has personally branded private jets, a private chef on call, and rare cars worth almost 5 mil, so we know how he lives, but what about where he lives? Floyd's mansions are just about as lavish as you would expect, and today we're going to take a look. We even found the listings. Floyd Mayweather Jr. is a professional boxing promoter and retired professional boxer as well. He competed between 96 until 2015 and made a one fight comeback in 2017. During his career, he won 15 major world titles and was named Fighter of the Decade, even being titled the greatest boxer of the last 25 years by ESPN. He's also known for his 50 boxing wins and zero losses. In 2006, he founded his boxing promotional firm Mayweather Promotions. First class service. First class service. Floyd was the money man of boxing for a reason. He is one of the most lucrative pay-per-view attractions of all time in any sport and topped the list of the highest paid athletes time and time again. Like I mentioned, the man knows how to treat himself and spares no expense with his spending. From his Louboutin shoe collection valued at almost 100 k to his Gulfstream private jet, staying in presidential hotel suites and more, he really loves the finer things. As of 2020, Floyd's estimated net worth is somewhere between $700 million and $1 billion, but considering he was getting paid a salary of $300 mil per fight alone, I'm gonna guess the man is a billionaire. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. You guys requested this one, so we'll be looking at the retired boxer slash billionaire athlete Floyd Mayweather and where he calls home. Considering his bank account, he has mansions across the country including Miami, Las Vegas, and Beverly Hills. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and likes of Stephen Curry and Jason Derulo and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. start with the least expensive of Floyd's homes, his $7.7 .7 million mansion in Miami. And yes, for him, that's considered cheap. In 2016, Floyd put a few of his many millions to use paying all cash for this ultra-modern mansion in Miami Beach. This was a newly constructed home and it's right in the action of the city, just a short bridge across from mainland Miami. The modern home has clean lines, vaulted interior spaces, and ipewood siding. Walls of Florida ceiling windows throughout bring views of the intercostal waterway inside. Walking into Floyd's Miami property, there's 5,200 square feet of living space with 4 beds and 5 baths. The home is surrounded by privacy walls allowing for security and comforts. In usual modern home fashion, the main level is open plan with an impressive glass and steel floating staircase in the middle. A main living room, formal dining area and chef's kitchen are all connected and walls of glass sliders give an indoor-outdoor vibe. The kitchen has an oversized island double ovens and white countertops and cabinets. Once you take the glass staircase upstairs, you'll find the bedrooms, including the spacious master suite with attached marble his and her sinks and soaking tub. There's also a walk-in closet and private balcony, which most of the guest rooms have as well. The clean and simple design of Floyd's Miami Mansion give it the feel of a five-star hotel. On the grounds of the home, there's an infinity pool and spa, a deck, and private dock. Not to mention 80 feet of waterfront according to the listing and picture-perfect landscaping all around. Moving to the rooftop, you'll find an additional patio with an outdoor kitchen to complete the estate. Although that modern Miami house is beautiful, it's not Floyd's main home, and neither is this next one because he apparently spends most of his time in Vegas. However, in 2017, the retired boxer dropped a whopping $25.5 million on this mega mansion in Beverly Hills, located just steps away from the famous Beverly Hills Hotel, saying this is prime real estate would be an understatement. Floyd's home is one of the most elite Los Angeles locations and fit for someone of his level of celebrity. The French modern abode was originally built in 1992 but extensively renovated by developer Niles Niami in 2015, first being listed at 38 mil. Although Floyd got a discount in the price, he reportedly dropped an extra 500 k for all the expensive furnishings. The ground spanned just over half an acre of land, and if that's not enough space, you're close enough to the Beverly Hills Hotel to walk to the Polo Lounge for breakfast, like the listing says. Inside, the main house offers 15,000 square feet with 6 beds and 10 baths spread across 2 levels. Floyd's mansion offers high style and state of the art technology with eye-catching chandeliers, mirrored wall fireplaces, and other luxury finishes. The open floor plan on the main level of his home has multiple common spaces for entertaining. There's a formal living room with 10 sets of French doors to the yard, paneled all-black library, and lavish dining room with floor-to-ceiling mirror and fireplace. 
The gourmet kitchen was imported from Italy and blends with the surrounding spaces thanks to the glass cabinets, wooden flooring, and marble counters. Then there's another cozy family room with cocktail bar and wine cellar, big enough to fit 225 bottles and enclosed in a series of glass doors. Floyd's master suite in his Beverly Hills home pulls no punches with features like a walk-in wardrobe fitted with the finest Italian cabinetry. The attached bath has not one but two double bathtubs leading to a large private terrace overlooking the backyard. In addition to his massive main house, there's a full-on detached guest house with features like a home gym, a staff suite, four-car garage, and 20-person movie theater. Not to mention, like any good cinema, the one at Floyd's house comes with a candy shop perfect for his sweet tooth. On the grounds of the home, a unique black and white striped marble deck surrounds the massive swimming pool and pool house. There's also sun loungers, a large outdoor sofa area with a central fireplace, and of course, covered deck and grill. Out front, there's a large motor court for whichever of Floyd's cars don't fit in the garage. When Floyd spends time in LA, which is likely a lot, this palace is where you'll find him, but for the rest of his time, he also owns an equally impressive property in Las Vegas. Most recently, in 2018, Floyd, aka Money, showed out another eight figures on a mega mansion in Las Vegas, where he seems to spend most of his time. Although it wasn't as much as his Beverly Hills home, it still cost the boxing legend a massive $10 million. He confirmed the purchase with a couple Instagram videos captioning his footage of the property, my new home, I'm truly blessed. The palatial mansion sits on 1.4 acres of land in the fully gated and exclusive community of Queens Ridge, Las Vegas, apparently only a few minutes drive from the Strip. Floyd's single-story palace was newly constructed upon purchase, spanning about 22,000 square feet with 11 beds and 14 baths. There are also not one but two guest houses on the property offering a ton of space. Just last month, I guess thanks to some boredom during quarantine, Floyd decided to give an Instagram tour of his Vegas estate. These days, he and his family are all moved in and then some. A column line porte cochere marks the entry to the main home, looking more like one of the luxury Vegas resorts than a single family home. In fact, there are larger than life columns decorating the whole home by the looks of it. Inside Floyd's mega mansion, you'll find a lot of marble, heated floors, an elevator, and plenty of double height ceilings throughout. The kitchen is all marble everything, with expensive state-of-the-art appliances of course, so Floyd's private chef can cook up anything he desires. Although Floyd has kept a lot of the interior of his Vegas mansion private, including the master suite he shares with his wife, he did show off his 600 square foot walk-in closet made to look like a Neiman Marcus store. He has an impressive collection of belts, jewelry, shoes, clothing, and more, even his million dollar watches. His most prized possession of all is the glass cabinet proudly holding his six winning belts. Other features of Floyd's Vegas mansion include a massive wine cellar, home fitness center, and a marble lined indoor pool and spa with built in current, allowing for stationary swimming. Talk about fancy. Of course, outside his mansion, it's hard to miss the outdoor fountain style pool, which is an obvious highlight of the property. There's also a pool house, plenty of terraces and covered patios, courtyards, and a vineyard on the ground. Finally, since we know Floyd absolutely loves his car collection, there are two detached garages as well as a 30 car subterranean garage, which he's shown off in his videos. Floyd's collection is absolutely insane, even stating that he has probably like 100 cars, and of course keeping some at his other mansions too. I mean, how do you not remember how many vehicles you own? It was unbelievable! Some of his wheels include 16 Rolls Royces, 2 Ferraris, 3 Bugattis, Lamborghinis, McLarens, and more. But that's another video altogether. Who wants to see a car tour in Mr. Mayweather? Let me know. Uh, follow me on my tour. Anyways, out of all his fancy rides, his day-to-day -day car is a Dodge Ram 1500 truck. Stating, this is my favorite car. I drive right here. I like to be low-key. Sure you do, Floyd. So now we've taken a look at the legendary Floyd Mayweather Jr. and his properties, including his mansions in Miami Beach, Beverly Hills, and of course his palace in Las Vegas. Honestly, I can't say I'm surprised at how lavish his properties are because he's definitely known to be flashy. If you're wondering, that doesn't sound like all for Floyd's real estate portfolio either. He claims to own 17 more properties in Vegas alone, with other buildings in New York, Michigan, and California. I wonder if that's true. Out of Floyd's mansions we looked at, which was your fave? Honestly, I think I liked the Beverly Hills spot best. It was the perfect mix of elegant, modern, and cozy. How about that pool? Anyways, be sure to let me know in those comments down below, as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you wanna chat, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.